my name is Lynette Swerf, and I've always lived in Virginia. I was born in D.C. and grew up in Falls Church, Virginia, and since 1977, I live in Crewe, Virginia, which is in Nottoway County, about 60 miles south of here. Now, you've had some health issues? I have partial complex seizures, which, when untreated, go on constantly all the time, and I throw out all kinds of crazy electricity, shock people, stop watches, uh, basically can't do anything, I'm a basket case, because, and I feel like I'm getting electrocuted all the time. That's mm -hmm. the basic, and I, I don't lose consciousness, but my neurologist has diagnosed that as partial complex seizures. And without being treated, that just goes on all the time and pretty much cripples me. Mm -hmm. um, with, uh, I, you know, there's been the question, did I inherit the bipolar uh, syndrome from my father? And there was lots of good evidence that I probably had, although maybe I wasn't as bad off as he was. Uh, they did, uh, I did have a doctor try me on lithium carbonate, which uh, made me extremely sick. Uh, uh, I had this metallic taste in my mouth the whole time I was taking it, and then it started making me stutter, and it made me, I had the shakes, I was sh real shaky. My husband and I went back to the doctor who was prescribing this lithium carbonate for me, and my husband said, we're going to go back to what works, and he said, what's that? And he said, she's just going to smoke marijuana, and this is what the psychiatrist said. Really? Did not say a word, but I thought we both understood exactly what he meant. He, he meant, oh yeah, sure, go ahead. That part, but this part meant, and I'm not saying a word. Right. And I showed that to lots of other patients, you know. They said, oh yeah, I got something like that too, you know, but it was really weird. I mean, it was kind of like, from that point on, I knew not to expect a physician to talk about medical marijuana. I just knew that because that was that was a very dramatic conveyance of that point of view. But I also knew that even the doctor, even the psychiatrist, uh, knew that that was a, a pretty good course of action for us. So we went home and handled it that way. And there was no problem. My husband and I were married for 38 years. It was a very successful marriage. I was able to manage my moods. So but how long were you using cannabis for that purpose? How many, how, how many years did you? Did you? Well, uh, since, I was, since I was 22 years old. Really? Mm -hmm. yes. Now, the cannabis helps a lot, a, a lot with depression, and I can't imagine managing severe depression without cannabis. That's really? just me. That's just me. I can't imagine it. Uh, but I, I have done that. And, uh, and it would be very difficult for me to tease out, you know, what was the depression, uh, what was the uh, bipolar, what was the premenstrual syndrome, and what was the depression. I mean, come on, you can't figure out what's what when it's all going on inside you at the same time. The cannabis helps with all of it. You know, cannabis gives you the opportunity to, uh, to think about and to recognize what is bipolar. Why is like, why am I feeling happy bothering somebody else? Well, smoke a joint and think about it. You're scaring them. Mm -hmm. What you're doing, you're, you're so happy, so animated, that people don't know how to deal with that. And smoking marijuana, you know how you get very contempt contemplative when you smoke cannabis. Well, I, and I, I tell people who are dealing with bipolar disorder this. Uh, so everybody out there, I know there's lots of people dealing with bipolar disorder and using cannabis. Don't just smoke a joint and expect that to do it. You have to really think about what's going on. And this goes for the mania and for the depression. If you're depressed, think about your life. Is your life really that bad? Probably not. You're just getting it blown up in your head and feeling really down. Smoke the cannabis, that'll help you feel a little better. But think about your life too, because in your state, when using cannabis, your brain is able to see a lot more deeply into this, and you can see you really don't have that much to be sad about. 
In my case, I had a wonderful marriage, I had a wonderful son, there were no money problems, not, you know, not usually, there, there were, the, the problems didn't go that far, but I felt that they did. Like I said, it was a very successful marriage. Uh, unfortunately, my husband passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, I will tell one story about that, though, because he had heart failure, and the, his doctors had determined that they couldn't do anything more for him, and um, so I, I took him home, and the hospice worker had gotten him as comfortable as he possibly could be, but obviously he wasn't completely comfortable. And so I went in with a, a little pipe, and he was not a cannabis user, but he took a little hit then, and he lay back in bed, and he said, man, I feel great. Oh, good. I feel great. Yeah, I know. That's probably the last thing he said. Mm -hmm. He died the next morning. But it was good to hear him say that, and it's very good to this moment to be able to say that we were able to make him feel that comfortable and that, uh, that it was just that was a really good thing that we had well, that. Well, seriously, if you're t even even if you're talking end of life issues or uh -huh. if you're talking day to day issues, it's all about quality of life, isn't it? Right, right. And I mean, I think my quality of life has been. I don't know what my life would be like right now if I didn't have cannabis, but I can guarantee you it would be messed up because I had so many things going on with me that. I, it would have been very hard for me to live a normal life. Because I used to wonder why I felt so awful all the time. And now I'm, I'm 60 years old and I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm like, I thought you felt worse when you got older, but I feel great, you know? So I hope everybody who watches this can take a little bit of something from this and, and feel uh, and, and, and get to that, this, where I am, to where you're feeling good, because that's what it's all about, quality of life. I don't know how I would have lived without cannabis, but I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be the same person that you're talking to today. And that's what's important, because I like who I am today. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Well, nothing I'd rather talk about more than, you know, Cannabis. The cannabis, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite plant. <laughs>